<laughs> I'm, you know, I'm a fan. He okay. has this thing okay. that somehow we don't have to even. No, it's fine. I, it's I, I, you know, I, I'll tell you something. I, I want you guys he, to be friends because I. I think have we are such great love for both of them. I think he did as good a job hosting the Academy Awards as anybody. Right. Real right. jokes. Yes. Really funny right. jokes. Really ad lib jokes. You know, it's just one of those awkward situations where he yeah. he was a huge Letterman guy. Yes. And when Still Letterman is. didn't get to Tonight Show, somehow it was my fault. And right. I think he resented that, and I get that. But you know. Dave never had the Tonight Show. I, what? No. No. Maybe I'm remembering these wars he, he, wrong. Here's the situation. I conflate this with the first Iraq war sometimes. No, no, no. It's just, it's, <laughs> Is this a different? This goes back, no, you, now you got to go back to, what's the one in Argentina, you know? Falklands. Falklands, yeah. yeah. What it was, was. That was a nasty one. Dave was a huge hit at 1230, huge. Johnny was a huge hit at 1130. Right. When I started subbing for Johnny, I was lucky enough to be able to maintain Johnny's ratings. So with me there, they had a hit 11.30 and a hit at 12.30. And NBC did not want to sacrifice one hit. If, if they moved Letterman down, I would go to CB. I would just go somewhere else. Right. And then they would have a wide open spot. Right. Plus, the, plus there were a lot of executives that did not like Dave because for whatever reason. But you had a situation there where um, they had a hit at 11.30 and a hit at 12.30. To move Letterman down wouldn't have gained them anything. I mean, I guest hosted for five years. I remember, I remember asking Zucker, I go, doesn't Letterman have this job? He said, no. Letterman's a hit at 12.30, and we want to keep that a hit at 12.30. Zucker was when? What, when? Zucker was at, at, at NBC. Jeff Zucker. He was I know. He was NBC. where at this time? He was at NBC. He was at NBC. He yeah. did the Today Show at NBC. Yeah, he did the Today that Show That was his NBC big, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. But Warren and all those people said, you know. Warren, that's, Warren Little. Yeah, that's a hit at 12.30, and we want to keep it a hit at 12.30. Right. So they had no intention of moving Dave down. Right. <laughs> You know, I never asked you this, but Good. when when you did leave the Tonight Show, there must have been offers to do opposite the Tonight Show show from Fox or something. There were, there were a lot. You know, why didn't you do it? Th that's you know, it's interesting because um, I remember I heard Kimmel talk to you about that. And I I had called him and I did, and I didn't realize I was supposed to do a follow up call with him, and I certainly apologize for that, but. Um, I didn't do it because here's what happened. They, they decided to, I was still on the air. I, they, they demanded that I say I'm going to leave in five years, even though I was going to be there another five years because Conan people wanted that. I said, all right, fine, fine. And I'll leave in five years. Okay. Within that five years, um, Craig uh, Ferguson comes along. And Craig Ferguson is a huge hit. He won a Peabody. I think he won some Emmys. And now he was beating Conan. And then Zucker called me one day and said, I think we made a mistake. I go, guys, I'm out of here next year or whenever it was. And he said, well, suppose we gave you a show at 10 o'clock. I said, 10 o'clock talk shows don't work. It didn't work for Cavett in 68. It, it doesn't work. He said, I'll tell you what. I will pay your entire staff for two years regardless of what happens. So all my people get paid for two years, even if we get canceled? He goes, yeah. I said, all right, okay, I'll do a 10 o'clock show. Now, I remember Kimmel thought that, see, people forget all those 10 o'clock dramas were hugely expensive to do, hugely expensive, and they weren't getting the ratings they used to. Like ER. Like ER. Well, ER was a hit, but Law and & Order and all the others, and they were just taking a hit at 10 o'clock. The senator's wife. Senator's wife? I'm saying that must have been a show. Well, something like that, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, those all were huge. Tia Leone was the senator's wife. Oh, no, she was, Tia Leone was. Something. Um, Doesn't matter. Uh, was she paid I know, but people, but people in America are very pretentious about their 10 o'clock shows. Right. They feel like they're very, Well, very... Jeff's thing was, if you put a talk show in there, it'll get essentially the same ratings at a tenth of them. Production, costs. right? Okay. I remember I did I did that show many times. Yeah, a okay. few times. Yeah, okay. So uh, that didn't work. And then uh, you know, 
I would say, oh, no, no, deliberately sabotage your show to try and get the Tonight Show. No, that, that doesn't work. It doesn't work that way. You try and do the best you can, and, and we, it didn't work. And then they said, how about coming on at 11.30? I said, look, I don't want to go through this again. Kona, he goes, if Conan moves back to 12, would you do a half hour at 11.30? I said, talk to Conan. If he'll go to 12, I'll do a half hour. Just do a monologue at one guest. Okay. And of course, Conan didn't want to do that. And that's when he wrote the letter. And, every, and then they put me back in and we became number one again. But why did, after you left, why didn't you go to Fox or some other place? I'm pretty loyal. I don't... What? Loyal to these assholes who fired you? You know, what? sometimes the czar you have is better than the one you're going to get. You know, you know and, and here, here's the thing. Uh, then you have your old team shooting at you as well. I just figured, let's, let's, just, let's just play this out and see what happens. This all happened fairly quickly. You know, I, I, I called Jimmy Kimmel and I said, I'm getting off from ABC. I don't want to start a whole thing here. If, if they're talking to put me on 1130, would you want to go on at 1230? I think he said, yeah, he'd like to. I said, oh, okay. We became friends. And then that didn't happen, and it became public. And I suppose I should have called Jimmy and explained to him again, but I didn't. Uh, I don't know why I didn't. I just didn't. I thought he, he probably figured it out. But I think maybe he was hurt by that, and I apologized to him for that. But, Jay, I feel like you're a victim of the um, terrible last viable prejudice in America, ageism. You have this idea in your head that, you know, you have to go out to pasture at some point. As I talk to you now, yeah. you know, you're exactly the same guy mm -hmm. who was there then. So, like, I don't think your brain is diminished. You yeah. know, you're doing all these other shows. You're still doing stand-up. You know, your hair was white then. Now it's white now. Right. You know, it's like, it's not like uh, this is a job. Uh -huh.